My name is Teresa Lockwood. I reside in Valley, New Jersey. And no, I haven't got dressed yet today. And it's almost 6 o'clock. So, <laughs> whatever. Uh, I figured I'd do a video real quick before I jump to the shower and whatever. And just, you know what? I don't know if I'm going to finish listening to this guy. I mean, I ba just backed up or whatever. He's trying to, um, I just heard a click on my phone. I don't know what just happened. Nothing popped up. So, um. It's weird. So, anyway, um, we're, um, uh, I'm going to call, uh, record, uh, I, I've been saying we again a lot lately. That's just me. I, I do this independently, not independent from God, uh, but independently or whatever. I actually get, uh, um, okay, I'm not going to get into that. Um, I got attacked sometimes for videos that I do, whatever, so, um, yeah, so, the thing is, is, um, yeah, by a monster, a rapist, that this, this monster imprisoned me to, by the way, with, by his own delusions, um, they're trying to justify and falsely claim that God put him as dictator in my life, by the way, um, as well with all these other persecutors said it's the will of God, whatever crimes he committed against me, Whatever. Uh, no, sorry. Um, so, the thing is, is, they, they were trying to sit there and cover up me speaking against them, as comparing them, the, uh, fraudulent Pentecostals that they colluded with, Calvary Chapel, Vaughn Police Department, whatever, they've been persecuting me for 20 years. These people came to the picture, like, 15 years after, these church cults, uh, well, not 15 years after, I'm sorry, um, um, after, for the last 15 years, okay, I didn't know how to put that in words or whatever, but, um, so, the thing is, is, I had a conversation, and they're twisting my words, by the way, that's what they're doing, and this is the thing, if people try to brand me with, oh, works, works, or whatever, for teaching, like, the Ten Commandments and all these, which are still condemning, um, they're teaching their, um, uh, Jamestown, uh, Jim Jones ma massacre, uh, call of unconditional love and unity, which is, a, which is a desperation of the evil leader who basically, you know, is, you know, you accept everything that they do. So the end result of that is, well, you know, uh, basically could be that of, well, drinking poison and basically uh, dying. <laughs> so just because there's not 900 body over 900 bodies, bodies laying on the ground, doesn't mean you're of that same uh, brainwashed unity. So he's been preaching the fraudulent Pentecostal brainwashing along with the other false doctrines that strip down people's minds, uh, make them undiscerning, and um, impair their um, um, decision-making, which causes such reactions. So they're basically copying my words, um, in their, um, mockery and manipulation deception, uh, well, they've been copying my words for years, mixing it with all these evil, false, deceptive doctrines and these forged, false, evil Bibles that were written to condemn, by the way, the, um, uh, God's anointed minister Christianity, okay, and, um, God's word, uh, from themselves, if you will, so, um, apart from themselves, anything that basically is a light of witness that uh, exposes their evil, so, the thing is, I mentioned about the things that I have done that made a difference in this nation, well, I didn't go into details, so, I, they asked me, basically, now, this is a thing, I was cut off in the conversation, okay, so, I was asked what makes a Christian, and I basically, now the thing is, I've said it before and taught it before at this point, right, so, um, and this was by a Lieutenant Landy, who's been persecuting and slandering me, by the way, and he twists all my words, by the way, so this preacher's repeating words that he said, that I've said, or what have you, and then he makes up all these rules about, against gossiping, yeah, just like, uh, yeah, against gossiping, just like a typical pedophile, and, um, sitting there claiming that, you know, um, that it's not about what you do, now, I don't care less describe what I do, okay? Now, this is the thing. <clears throat> this, you know, <laughs> where in, let's just 
say this. Where recorded in the Bible, it doesn't even have to be in the Bible, but no, I'm talking about the true Bible, by the way. True translation, not these dramatized, distorted perversion of these, the TPT, the NIV, all these filthy, garbage, rotten, Pit from the pits of hell, evil, false Bibles that they're trying to do to justify their um, evils, by the way. So I'm talking about word-for-word -word translations. No, the TPT is not a word-for-word -word translations. It is a word-for-word -word translation of false forged Bibles. So the thing is, is... So I basically said, well, Christianity is, well, I don't know if I, what I said in that conversation, but I did say part of this or whatever that Christian... Well, I've been writing it over and over. Christianity is a hearer and doer of the truth. Doer. So they're basically going, oh, it's not about doing, it's not about doing. They don't do anything except for lie. Okay? So the thing is, is that, um, no, it's not only what you do. Because even Jesus said, which I have just taught not too long ago, um, said, how is it that you being evil know how to give good gifts to your children? Which is a doing. And how much more will my father give you in heaven? Okay? So, the thing is, is salvation... You know what? I'm going to actually go to... Uh, let me just open another... Um, I'll open up another window. So, everybody has a false idea about salvation. I've been teaching this for a number of years. Um, uh, hold on. Um, I'm trying to think if I remember what uh, chapter it was in. Now, this is read from, not understood by any of these churches. They teach a false salvation, by the way. So, the thing is, look, yes, Christianity is about doing. Because the whole point is, that of doing is to sanctify the world. To those who believe. Okay? Um, he's twisting my words, by the way. Um... Basically, oh, uh, mocking it about saying like, oh yeah, salvation for the future and all this other stuff. He wants to play his games because he's of the devil. His mind is of the things of the world and he's going to keep doing it. All it is is harassment and he's colluding with police to sit there and uh, he just sit there and speak against me and twist my word. So he does the same thing to our Bible. That's why he uses a perverted false Bible. Uh, he's a coward, likes to hide in, hide in darkness and justify why, well, he condemned me for religion, which is basically the true knowledge of God. And he wants to sit there and use forged false Bibles and false only and run to false leaders and false teachers to hide in that condemns, uh, religion. Okay, and tries to flip it backwards and they claim that it was religion that uh, 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 persecuted Jesus and all this other stuff. He's a pervert. That's what he is. And he can sit there and say, you know, if, if you don't love your brother or whatever, um, you don't love God. It makes you a liar. You can do all those other things or whatever. You're not my brother. Neither are you Pan Pentecostals who are trying to pervert our scripture and word. When you evil people take our scripture and our word that is the record of a holy word of God... And you speak it by your evil, you are perverting what it says. First of all, my brother in Christ is not talking about you. So when you quote that, it means nothing to you. You're just trying to find reasons to sit there and call me a liar because you cannot find any lies in me. So you pervert and lie and deceive to sit there and make me out to be as evil and a liar like you. You are a liar. Sorry. Um, I, yeah, I know you hate Jesus because, well, Jesus hated you. You can sit there and say, well, you know what? Oh, well, Jesus, uh, 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 loves the world. Um, yeah, put, to put truth into the world to those who receive it. You create your own false antichrist evil Jesus that conforms to your own sins. So, um... You make up all your own rules or whatever to make yourself try to look appear uh, outwardly um, of God, and you are not. Your God is the devil. So look, the only the, the, the you don't even believe in God. So this is pointless to even say to you, but I'm going to say it. Uh, so you don't even believe in it. But the only look, the only one. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Who's going to enter the kingdom? Who is who is of the kingdom of God or can't enter the kingdom of God? Is those who uh on twenty no no twenty thirty two. All right. Are those who are a lover of God's truth, and you know you're lying, you know you're sitting there um, perverting God's truth, and you keep lying about me because you're a liar. So, uh, liars go to hell. You can sit there, and you're putting your false guilt trips on me, slandering me in your jealousy, but yet, um... You only be going to be judged by what you do, so you can sit there and make your little list. I gave, I, I threw a whole lot of lists on on on, on the on against you people, and you're going to make all your rules. I gave you even some more. The thing is, is that you're calling me lost, but you're trying to condemn me for being lost. I sit there and I only sit there and righteously judge you. Yes, I'm allowed to, um, by the authority of God. <sighs> And he falsely judged me. So, I love God, you hate God. It's as simple as that. I mean, it's one thing not to know who or what God is. It is another thing to basically deliberately practice evil and then call yourself righteous. And claim that your sins are covered. Oh, why? And you want to mock, uh, mock uh, Jesus, claiming you murdered Jesus. You don't even believe in Jesus. But um, you don't even know who Jesus is or you care to know. You know why? Because you love your evil more than righteousness. So therefore, you will not know Jesus. That would be Frank Apollo, Raymond Church, these Pentecostals in the violent uh, New Jersey Police Department. And um, the only one who is going to be judged by what they do into eternal life or into hell, or be judged by what you do. Okay, hold on. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who hears my word and believes in him who sent me has everlasting life. And shall not come into judgment, but has passed from death into life. Now, the thing is, these false churches read this. And claiming that they're go not going to uh, be brought into judgment when they're practicing evil. Yes, you are. Um, and no, you're not saved because it's written in the Bible. Those who approach the law. You cannot be saved by approaching the law. When you sit there wanting to per pervert that and claim that, you know, because you're going to condemn the law. To sit there and justify to practice your evil. And try to make all kinds of lying excuses, Frank Apollo, and then you're trying to uh, copy me what I corrected you on and still continue in your lies. And your son and the rest of you um, claiming, oh, you believe in Jesus. No, you don't believe in Jesus because you practice evil uh, against me for oh, being one with Jesus. So, um, equal to Jesus, that's right. And Jesus is our brother, not our God. So, most assuredly, I say to you, the hour is coming and now is when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God. He is spiritually dead. And those who hear will live. For as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son to have life in himself and has given him authority to execute judgment also because he is the Son of Man. Do not marvel at this, for the hour is coming in which all who are in the graves will hear his voice and come forth. This is basically the spiritual death uh, grace. Those who have done good to the resurrection of life and those who have done evil to the resurrection of condemn condemnation. I can of myself do nothing as I hear I judge. And my judgment is righteous because I do not seek my own will, but the will of my Father who sent me. And that also is my anointing also. And I speak by the same truth.
<coughs> Excuse me, my ears itching. I have allergies. I'm sure there'll be somebody who sit there and claim I'm not Christian or anointed of God because I have allergies. So, um... You'll be judged by what you do. So, yeah. So, the people who basically um, condemned people for doing good in the Bible was people trying to uh, crucify Jesus. Now, they did say, for good works we do not condemn you, but for blasphemy. Claiming he was the son of God. Uh, again, returning to, basically, um, oh, speaking what is good. Good by word and deed. No, me speaking against your vile, vulgar, evil. I'm making my points. Um, it, it is not my evil. Um, no, I am not without sin like Jesus. Jesus is perfect. Um, so, no one is equal to Jesus, but we are one in spirit. Um, so... Mm. Oh, I want to keep that open. I actually, I accidentally opened the wrong one. So, hold on. Mm. So, yeah, so this, this false minister is talking about, uh, difference. He's condemning doing good. How are you going to condemn doing good? Does doing good make you, uh, holy? No, obviously, I just said that. Jesus made the same point. How is it that you being evil know how to give good gifts to your uh, children? So, but whatever you do that is good comes from God. Rather, right? you believe in God, understand things of God or what? Uh, everything that is good comes from God. That's where it comes from. So, hold on. <clears throat> now behold, one came and said to him, Good teacher, what good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? Mind you, there is no such thing as a saved date. Um, there's salvation throughout all the world and country, uh, countries about salvation is false. Um, so this whole save date, you got saved when you asked Jesus to come into my, your heart. Well, first of all, um, yeah, the, the, the reality is, is they have all, all been teaching a false version of Jesus. So your desire was for the evil they taught. And then you basically asked Jesus to come into your heart with the desire of the liar of your false leader. So who leads people to themselves? Okay. I don't lead people to myself. I was forbidden by God to basically form a cult. And it's not, that is a translation uh, that I'm expressing in my language. Um, it's not exactly how God taught it uh, in knowledge given to me. But huh, Jesus, God did not sit there and say, don't form a cult. Okay. So um, I am not to form um, a linking um People to click to me like these churches. I am not to be of them and not to conform to them. So this has been um, the anointed and protection army since I was a child. I am not to conform to any of your churches because God said that you are not of him. So um, so he said to him, and the scripture records, Jesus the Messiah prophet, Jesus Christ. So he said to him, why do you call me good? No one is good but one, that is God. Because God is identified in him. Uh, no, Jesus is not God. Jesus is the prophet of God. But if you want to enter into life, keep the commandments. He said to him, which ones? Jesus said, you shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. Honor your father and mother, and, your un and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. These are the, uh, in the greatest commandments recorded in Deuteronomy and Exodus. So, um, the young man said to him, all these things I have kept from my youth, what do I still lack? And Jesus said, if you want to be, 
want to be perfect, go sell that all you have and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven, and come follow me. Now, who is Jesus? Remember, Jesus said, if you not have not done it to the least of these, you have not done it to me. So to follow Jesus is to go to people, not claim Jesus. Okay? Uh, so this, this preacher sit there, have you seen Jesus? Uh, Jesus is the people in need. Okay? So not to feed the, the, the greed, which is, yes, given to me, stolen from me by Calvary Chapel, mocked me, um, it is original, um, they said I can't say that. Yes, I can. Uh, I like how they, they, they basically try to play my Lord. What is God who teaches me um, against them? <laughs> it's interesting. They're trying to exalt themselves above God. It's really, really disturbing. Um, Jesus said to him, If you want to be perfect, go sell what you have and give to the poor. And you have treasure in heaven and come follow me. Now remember, when they went to take commandments, the last commandment, is against coveting. So it goes to the things of God to your neighbor. All right. And then it closes a seal that it starts basically in the mind. The sin starts in the mind. Okay. Commentary original by Teresa Lockwood. Um, yeah, I do have to say that because they are stealing my things. Um, my commentary is original, originated in me by. The knowledge of God. No, God is not teaching me scripture. God gives me knowledge that allows me to interpret scripture. Doesn't mean I can interpret all things. No, I don't go around sitting there like, uh, you know, I know all things or what have you. I basically give by the measure that God gave me. Some 30-fold, some 60-fold, some 90-fold, some whatever, whatever it is. And no one has more than the other. So I give what I give. So... Then Jesus says to his disciples, Surely I say to you that it is it is hard for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. And again, I say to you, it is easier for a camel to go through an eye of a needle than a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. So, interesting. Then God said to his disciples, Surely I say to you that it is hard for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. And against it say to you, it is easier for a camel to go through an eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. When his disciples heard it, they were greatly astonished, saying, who could be saved? This is a projection forward, by the way, not a past tense. Um, that was basically, somebody tried to attack me, the Calvary Chapel. I'm like, Oh, it's past tense. Actually, it's not past tense. It is um, um, expression that has not been done yet. So it says who then can be saved. But Jesus looked at them and said. With men this is impossible. But with God all things are possible. This scripture was actually falsely used. As all the churches have used that. To sit there and take this out of context. Um, um, to sit there and. With false encouragement. And false hopes. Or whatever that you can do this. This or this or this or that. And um, saying with all things God are possible when it basically is th their their expression of it is basically that it desires for the things of the world. So this is the thing. The the man wound up coveting. Okay. Yes, interpretation uh, originated uh, it, by the uh, knowledge of God in me. Um, he wound up coveting. But he, when the young man uh, heard this, he went around away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. See, you sit there and you can keep the Ten Commandments and be holy. I'm going to record him in a second. But when it comes to basically going and doing, doing, okay, and taking action, Okay, which Jesus said to um, teach the commandments of God. He was clinging on to his worldly possessions. So in this, he um, basically does not keep the commandments perfectly. But 
Mind you, what is also not taught was in the Ten Commandments, in the Second Commandments, revealed, unnoticed, is that because everybody, all these, all these people going around, oh, nobody can keep the Ten Commandments. That's why Jesus died on the cross. Well, in the Ten Commandments, in the Second Commandment is mercy. Why is there mercy in the Ten Commandments? Well, because um, Jesus knew that uh, people cannot keep the Ten Commandments perfectly. This is why, and this is actually mentioned in the laws given by Moses. So, and then like, you know, they, they try to tie um, that of, how do I say this? Um, claim, they have claimed that there's no grace and mercy and love. Before Jesus Christ, there was no salvation. This is not true. Um, so I'm going to go on. So I was attacked actually in this church in Raymond Church. Or whatever. And they try to teach this false version of salvation. And I'm like. They, they said this thing's very similar. And I'm like. Well how come Moses and Elijah was seen praying with Jesus? <laughs> Apparently they had no answers. So I'm going to record this guy. And um. You know. Uh, he, he, he's so quick to basically try to condemn me, by the way, um, with his lies and his false doctrines constantly. He's echoing other people, by the way. And, um, so they're taking my words out of context is what they're doing. So I'm going to record this. And the list is amazing. Are you talking about the an manual? International church. And what the culture says that you can't do in Africa, and what the culture says that you can't do in California, and what the oh, culture on, says go back up. that you can't do over here, and what the culture says, who, who's saying Jesus or the culture? Hold on. Doesn't change oh. the fact that it's truth. First, you're separated to me, meaning to Christ. And then, as you separate to me, and as you become more like me, and I fill you, I'm going to send you. That's how it goes. Did I just lose this See, section? Born and raised in a holiness denomination, my whole life I've been in the holiness church. No, you aren't. And our whole stance of the Wesley Church is an evil cult just as much as Jim Jones. These are the people who created the electric shock machine and electrocuted people if they had evidence of anxiety and depression. Why? Because that's usually the expression of abused victims. Why? Because John Wesley was... Um, uh, abused his wife, flipped it backwards, and played the victim, just like the echoing sins from generation to generation to generation, which society has been cursed, oppressed, and tortured under the false doctrines of John Wesley, falsely pretending to claim love. Basically, they have a lot of dead bodies of the murder of uh, John Wesley because of his e uh, evil electric shock machine and a lot of fried, tortured people throughout generations because of this John Wesley evil cults. Yes, they are just as evil, not even more evil uh, than the Jim Jones. But you know what? Guess where the fraudulent Pentecostal came out of? Oh, the John Wesley Nazarene cult satanic church and the Catholic church. Holiness is, is all about sanctification. See, that's our stand. The false, uh, so-called Pentecostals, fraudulent Pentecostals, which they were created to cover up the heinous crimes of the psychological abuse and torture of the satanic cults of the John Wesley and the Catholics. An entire sanctification, according to the holiness denomination, is when we believe that we have been so filled with God's love, that's the point. That we no. love God. We lo so, see, he, he made that expression uh, like that. Um, I don't know the word I'm looking for. Expressing that we believe. No, it's not because we believe. A lot of people could believe a lot of things. 
right? So belief basically entitles basically what you uh, you can believe in something false or true. So just because you believe you are God doesn't mean you are of God. And this is something I said to uh, uh, Landy or whatever, Christopher Landy, that he's colluding with to persecute me or whatever. And he's sitting there using his anti-theist, atheist claims. Oh, that's what you believe, which basically uh, tries to uh, deem everything that I say as oh false if they sit there and say that's a belief that's what he said oh that's a belief that's what you believe and I basically am speaking against crime he thinks he, he can sit there and label me with these things like these um evil churches do the same thing because they're all atheists uh, and they sit there and say oh that's your opinion uh, no I'm sorry I'm only speaking by the truth and facts so they want to sit there and cover up crimes or whatever. And he actually asked me about the murder of Philip White. No, he didn't say the murder of, but the case of Philip White and um 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 someone else. And I basically um made a statement on Rashawn Washington or whatever, which he tried to control, by the way. Um, so, and then, he, oh, that's your opinion. No, it's not, a, it's not an opinion. I only gave facts and facts that were proven and confirmed within itself. But that's how they do it to ignore anything. They just sit there and start labeling with things or whatever, and they flipped everything backwards or whatever. And they were sitting there trying to label everything as an opinion. Um, and refuse facts by a deception by flipping it backwards. Sitting there convincing everybody you're entitled to your uh, own opinion, but you're not entitled to your own facts or whatever. Facts are facts. Okay? Um, I don't know. Nobody can own it. It's a fact. It's, it's either a fact or it's not. <laughs> so they were trying to manipulate as you're mind raping the public. Why? Because the violent police does not serve the public. That's why. And they're only an evil satanic cult, which I have proven by facts. All their atheists, their fraudulent Pentecostals, their um, Wesleyans, their Catholics, whatever uh, society they have in there, that are there, are, none of them are of God, none of them. And about ninety-eight percent of them have basically practiced heinous crimes against me and evil, and the lies have come out all of all of their mouths because they are liars and they are lawless uh, degenerates. That's why. They are vain in their own degeneracy. Just like this, this guy. Holiness. See, that's the message of Wesley Arminian holiness. It's the message of the Church of the Nazarene. And somehow or another, in the 19th century, somehow we got away and we got onto this thing called American holiness. And all of a sudden, holiness became all about... They're uh, going by that because I was basically going to other countries and tell them this, and I asked them, uh, why are you trying to, um, uh, um, uh, Americanize yourself? It's just like, uh, Americanizing isn't basically Christianity. And, um, I said, the, they're not Christians and they're trying to Americanize you, right? So actually, it's not originally from that. There was a later thing where Calvary Chapel was sitting there responding to it when I was sitting there teaching the, uh, Constitution. Okay, and the laws or whatever, and they're trying to sit there and pit um 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 constitution.